Hello and welcome back to Trucking Answers. Today I want to continue talking about the Trucker Bill of Rights as related to Operation Black and Blue that will be presented in Washington DC. This one is about the ELD mandate, the biggest one of all of them probably. Let's get through it. Now, the, the course truck drivers want an option to either use an electronic log or not or still continue to use a paper log. The reason drivers want to use a paper log mainly that I'm hearing about from my channel is that they sit and I agree with you. Uh, on the road, shippers, receivers, they don't care about you. What do they care? They're not paying you. So you sit. Your company, obviously they don't care about you either because you sit. They sit two, three. I remember sitting eight hours at craft a few times, picking up stuff over there. Ridiculous, I got paid for that, okay? And you should get paid for it. And the real problem with the electronic logs isn't the electronic log because nothing is gonna change about the hours of service when you use an electronic log. The real problem is you sit without getting paid anything. And that's the real problem. If you got paid for all that time, you wouldn't care about an electronic log, I don't think. You'd say, give me an electronic log, I'll log that all on duty because you're being paid. And that's the crux of the problem. This log thing is just to gloss over. That's why uh, the government and the companies, large carriers, uh, mega carriers especially, love the electronic logs. So some of them, you know, are, Werner started it outright, I don't know how, what, 40 years ago, 100 years ago? They love it because it sits you right and they don't care if you get paid, if you don't get paid, they don't care. They don't care. You just meet in the seat and then get rid of you. The real problem is not the log, but that you don't get paid. So that's, how do we change that? And why isn't that in there? I mean, I guess there is a thing about detention pay after two hours, but that's not right either. Why should you shift two hours without getting paid? That's not right. As soon as you stop there, if they're not loading, you're not out of there, you get paid. All your time when you're in that truck is work time. When you get in this truck, you're at work, okay? That should be paid. If you went anywhere else to work, this is the example I give everybody. You say in Indiana, you can work when you're 14 in the summer. So you send your 14-year-old kid to work at Burger King, and she comes home and says, hey, uh, they want me to work two hours uh, before I get paid. They go, that the first two hours are free. You'd be like, no way. No, that's crap. And you'd march your butt down there and, uh, you know, say no way. So the other problem is sometimes companies will say, oh, well, we don't get paid for that, so we can't pay you that. Uh, so what? That isn't my problem. Tell them tough. Too bad. That Back to the Burger King example. The kid goes in and says, okay, I worked eight hours, but three of the hours we didn't have any come in. So the company said, I don't get paid for that because they didn't make any money. You would never allow that. You wouldn't allow a kid to do that, so why do you allow it for you? That's what needs to change, and that should change today. Today, that should be the solution to that. Getting paid for all your time, and you'd log all your time. The people cheat their log. Let's admit it, you're cheating your log, because it's still cheating the log if you don't log your time properly, right? Because you're not being paid. Maybe the law should change if, they don't get, if you don't get paid, you don't have to log it. How about that? There's a good solution, but uh, no, not really, right? Companies just wouldn't pay you then. They wouldn't pay you for hardly anything. They go, you gotta drive free too. Okay, that's not a good solution. You should get paid. You work, you get paid. You open the door, you get paid. When you get out, you stop being paid, period. That should be the end of it. And all these companies that don't do it, it's crap all which I've said in other logs, crap. Let's take it over, let's change that. Not the logs don't need to change. We don't need to work more so we can sit and work more. We need to get paid for the work we're already doing. Okay, and you can take that to the bank if you get paid. If you don't get paid, you can't even go to the bank with it. I wanna know what you think. Put it down there. Let me know what you think. I respond to all comments, right? I get down there and respond to comments. So I'm in, I'm in on it. I drive too, right? I'm in on it too. So I want everybody to get paid. We should all get paid. That's how a professional gets paid. We don't work free. Wanna be a professional? You gotta get paid. You gotta demand your payment. Let's do it. Comment below, subscribe, and we'll be back with more trucking answers. Thanks for watching.